Dun, can internet. Meow. Um, we have eaten food. I have gone around to deplete some of our supplies of everything, drop things off from the ship, full nine yards, and Cora wants a brief history of time. I don't think the book exists in the game because I've never found it. That's unfortunate. Okay. Um. So, where we last left off, we... Oh, and the random use of security guard gave us 30 minutes oh, of yeah. credits. Just because we've been clearing out bad guys. Yep, apparently. I also picked up more sniper rifle ammo because... Because... We technically have enough money to pay off our house, but why? The mortgage interest rate is so tiny, it's irrelevant. Mm -hmm. If only I was still editing these at the point that this is recording, because otherwise I would have had editor me flash something like stairs in 2023 or something like that. Anyway, um, so I have emptied off everything that I am intending to keep not on my person, other than I think, yeah, I still have a blue lab outfit that can just stay on the ship. There we go. I mean, it's not a huge amount of mass, but it's something. Um, let's look at our quests. I know we need to talk to Vladimir, but... We should do that. We have a lot of other quests, though. And I mean a lot of other quests. Not to mention... Well, we actually don't have that many activities. you want to go join the Vanguard or something? That's something I haven't done yet. Oh, you haven't joined the Vanguard? No, I've been thinking of it. Hmm. I think that might not be a bad idea, if only because I know that they have a simulator, and we desperately need the ability to shoot down ships. Mm hmm In order for me to level up piloting so I can actually get a Class B ship. Let's go join the Vanguard. We're already here. Too much underfoot. Why even bother? I'll just exit the ship. Yeah, it's mass district. Yeah. Hi. Please disregard. Gonna take that or where are you going? Um, good question. I at least have the quest for joining the Vanguard. suggesting taking the net. Oh yeah, it's extremely hard to get from the spaceport district to anywhere without taking the net. Yeah. For fast traveling. It's possible though. Yeah, if you're good with a boost pack and maybe I mean I am good with a boost pack. My character is definitely not. Disney people mover noises. Okay. So I believe by my count, this is episode 25. And as of the recording of this episode, I have not uploaded or edited episode five. That is how far in the future I am. Brilliant me, excellent job. I think it's gonna be easier to walk out than walk back in. Um, so, if you were wondering why the editing quality on these prior videos have been bad, it's because I didn't get a chance to do any of it. Hey, Sarah's friend. You come to enlist at long last? Start earning your stripes with the Vanguard? Although, maybe I should have Sarah with me when I do this. Nah. Okay. Or, I don't know. Alright. I'm game. Tell me what I need to do next. All right. Take the elevator down to the Vanguard Orientation Hall. You can get started at any of the registration terminals. The system will walk you through the rest. And if you've got any questions, I'm happy to answer them. I just will actually make this my mission. Ah, oh, nothing like Latin mission names to make me think that I have joined the Roman Legion. No, 
I'm gonna use this one. Yeah. Enlistment agreement. Nice. Do you wish to? I, of course, I accept this license agreement. Optional, explore the orientation hall. Registration accepted. You may now proceed through the historical displays in the orientation hall, or continue on to the examination. I really hope all this historical junk isn't going to be on the test. Hey. grew up in Neon, so I get big cities. But one clean enough to eat off the pavements? That's new. No, no. This place is actually a lot like Neon. It's not a sensory overload. True, but they do still do the, hey, look, we have an undesirable element, so we're going to shove them to the periphery. Mm-hmm. Yep. In 2150, humanity learned the Earth's magnetosphere would collapse sometime in the next half century, eliminating all life. was required, but the secure transport of an entire civilization would demand a new kind of cooperation, a new kind of courage, and a new kind of union. Thus, in 2159, the United Colonies were formed to make that journey possible. Just one year later, the Galileo, the first of many colony ships, touched down here on Jemison, beginning a new era of human history, the age of the United Colonies. I'm not done. Sorry, I'm just setting the timer. Um, so one question that I have, I'm going to trigger this again to do it. What the hell did we do to the Earth to make those land masses? <laughs> Maybe uh, level grows quite a bit. That's a lot more than just melt all the ice caps. Anyway, that's uh. Yeah, this looks more like Earth. With a screw on the polar. But I'm going to have to wait until they stop talking to the United Colonies. I believe. From their foundation, the United Colonies strove to provide all this. Now that's not sanitized to hell and back. Security and peace. But there were those among the UC that still wanted something more. Independence. So in 2161. The UC issued the Centaurus Proclamation, granting UC citizens the right to settle distant worlds and form their own sovereign powers. It wasn't long before the first new faction, the Free Star Collective, was formally organized in 2188, later followed by House Ruin, revealing themselves to the universe in 2230. Narian War. Beginning in 2196, the Narian War, humanity's first large-scale conflict among the stars, is remembered as a defining moment for the settled systems. As the first major conflict to make extensive use of grab-jump-enabled ships, the Narian War was less defined by key space battles and more by an extended cat-and-mouse interplay between the two powers, as the well-armed and professional UC Navy tried again and again to pin down the piecemeal but savvy Free Star Fleet. Oh boy, the propaganda! Unable to strike the killing blow, the UC resorted to ever more severe tactics to try and drive the Collective to capitulate, but without much success. In fact, after many long years of war with little to show for it, even the populace of the UC itself began to turn against the cause, with protests roiling even New Atlantis, the citizenry demanding the war finally come to a humane close. 
So, when at long last the final blow was struck, with the UC Navy finally cornering and obliterating the Free Star Fleet in 2216. Wait, hold on a moment. It took them 20 years to get to that point. It was a hollow victory. It was from the resulting negotiations, the Treaty of Narian, that the settled systems as we know it today emerged, both literally and figuratively. Despite winning the war, the UC find, found themselves in an unenviable position, painted as a brutal aggressor even in their home systems. So, in the spirit of unity and lasting peace, the UC agreed to the demands of the Free Star Collective and the Narian settlers, whose collusion triggered the conflict in the first place, and handed over Narian to the Collective, as they requested at the start of the hostilities, including the Clinic Medical Star Station, freeing the Free Star Collective as we know it today. That is not what the Free Star Collective says, by the way. Mm -hmm. Nor is it what the Clinic says. Um... In return, the UC demanded two concessions. The first was payment for damages done in the form of mineral rights on multiple worlds across the galaxy. The second, more significant demand, that was that no great faction may ever colonize more than three systems. The UC would have Alpha Centauri, Sol, and Wolf, and the Free Star Collective, Cheyenne, Voli, and Narian. The Free Star Collective agreed to these terms, creating, and codified into law, the settled systems as we know them today. The Treaty of Narian has since become the foundation of all contemporary political relations. It is the only official violation, the cause of the greatest uh, galaxy's greatest conflict, the Colony War. To learn more about the Colony War, please proceed to the Conflict Among the Stars mural. Yeah, because they settled the Valo system, but Valo is a binary star with Narian. It's the same system. Propagandatastic interpretation of the Narian conflict. Thinking that's not exactly the way things have turned out. Of the many conflicts between the galaxy's factions, none was more brutal than the recent colony war between the UC and the Freestar Collective. Set off by the unauthorized Freestar colonization of Vesta's Pride in 2308. A direct violation of the Narion Treaty, the Colony War spread quickly across the galaxy. Where is that? Both sides Surprise. deployed every tool at their disposal. Armadas of warships, mechanized combat platforms, or mechs. Even bioengineered alien creatures. The infamous UC Xeno weapons. It was only in 2311, at the Battle of Cheyenne, that the scales finally tipped. The Free Star Collective, utilizing their civilian fleet as a human shield, successfully um, created the that. superior United Colonies. Yeah. After their shocking victory against the galaxy's greatest navy, the Free Star Collective offered terms of peace, which the colonies, out of an interest in staving off any further human uh -huh. causes, accepted. The galaxy has been rebuilding ever since. Damn, that's a lot of propaganda. Yeah. Ooh, the Battle of New York. Which one was that? Few settled worlds were left untouched by the colony war. But nowhere could the viciousness of modern warfare be seen more clearly than on the free star planet of Nera. It's initially occupied by mm -hmm. invading United Colonies forces as a forward operating position, 
repeated attempts to take and retake the planet by collective forces led only to devastation. Swaths of the world were transformed into scorched husks, a nightmarish testament to the depths of human ingenuity and human cruelty. And today, Nera remains a continuing reminder to the horrors of unfettered war. It's a mech. It's a terror more. It's a terror more. I bring her here almost every day to stare at this thing. No one knows how they move between planets. I wonder if they can grab jump or something. Candy cats. The terror of Londinian. In the midst of the colony war, a different kind of tragedy struck the UC city of Londinian. A newly constructed but critical supply center for the United Colonies war effort, Londinian found itself overrun by one of the galaxy's most mysterious yeah, predators. The Terramorph. Yeah. I bet it was. A rare but pervasive threat to all human settled worlds. Terramorphs swept over the city, seemingly out of nowhere, on a scale never before seen in recorded history. Valiant efforts by the UC military slowed the onslaught, but the creatures proved unstoppable. Ultimately, the decision was made to destroy the Londinian spaceport, sealing off the city. The outbreak and its citizenry from the galaxy at large. The tragedy of Londinian is mourned by the UC to this day. This is the first I've heard of it. Um, didn't they literally admit that they made the xenomorphs in the Conflict Among the Stars presentation and the fact that they have no a statue of it? I guess technically they just said xeno weapons. Mm-hmm. Other creatures. The uh, attempt to uh, weaponize the, uh, the uh, terror morph failed, remember? <sighs> At least on Crete it failed. It failed to control them. It didn't uh -huh. fail to use them as a weapon, though. The Armistice. After the devastation wrought by the Colony War, the UC and the Freestar Collective came together to ratify a treaty that became known as the Armistice. Both sides agreed to a vast reduction in standing forces, and that Xeno weapons and mech warfare would be outlawed. All related research was sealed away, accessible only in cases of dire emergency. But the Collective had another demand, that the active commanders of the UC military stand trial for their actions. The United Colonies, in the interest of peace and galactic security, agreed. In 2311, three United Colony senior officers were found guilty. Of? Commander Henry Durant, General Indira Rastogi, and Fleet Admiral Francois Senon, known better as Ve Victus. All were sentenced to death for their actions, bringing the colony war to a close and returning peace to the galaxy at long last. And what were they convicted of? Well, some people are calling Vavik as a murderer, but... Mm -hmm. It's just standing right there. How much you want to bet? Well, that answers that question. <laughs> they just have it on display! Nobody knows where the terror morphs came from. Literally on display in their museum. Good job. Having a good one? It was into this new world that the Vanguard was born. An official branch of the UC Navy Vanguard is the United Colonies Volunteer Fleet, serving a myriad of security, 
egotistical and reconnaissance roles. And after a sufficient length of service, UC citizenship is guaranteed to every Vanguard member. Open to all captains, regardless of origin, the Vanguard is leading the charge to protect and support the citizens of the United Colonies, wherever in the galaxy they may be. Well, isn't that the huge load of propaganda crap? Oh, I can climb them. No one is born a United Colony citizen. Only through service to the UC can one hope to earn one citizenship. You can be born a UC citizen, though. prides itself on taking care of its people. Cost of living controls citizens pay less than their foreign counterparts for needs big and small. All citizens are issued a grant upon joining to get themselves on their feet. And only UC citizens have the opportunity to purchase property, getting the chance to live in one of the most beautiful cities in the settled systems. By joining the Vanguard today, you too can begin earning your place here, in the heart of galactic civilization, as a citizen of the United Colonies. Damn, that's a lot of propaganda. Yeah, after that propaganda, I'm less inclined I'm to happy, join. I'm half tempted to just leave. But... But, but piloting simulator. Yes. The whole reason why I want to go here. I wonder if they'll give me a ship. I don't mean for the simulator. Ooh. Welcome, applicant, to the piloting no, simulation. No, it's chamber. you have Please to have your own ship. Simulation pod to initiate your exam. Oh, I want to go to the other one. I've got it. This time, I've got. It. Ah, you must be our new applicant. I'm Proctor Samuelson. The simulator's already been prepped. You can head in whenever you're ready. What kind of ship am I flying? The simulator is designed to be a near-perfect replica of a Class B Deimos hoplite, the United Colony's standard destroyer model. It's been tuned to provide a challenging but fair fight against the enemy squadrons you'll encounter inside. Got any advice on how to do well in there? Well, I can't answer that question directly. I will say this. Due to the solitary nature of our work, resourcefulness is a critical tool in any Vanguard pilot's repertoire. You're permitted, even encouraged, to use whatever tool you're able to find in there. And can you tell me about the Of exam? course. You'll be running through a high-realism combat flight simulation, engineered by members of the UC science staff, right here in MAST. Your task is to defeat at least three tiers of simulated opponents. Accomplish that, and you pass the exam and can then proceed on to your probationary mission. However, if you defeat more than three tiers of enemies, your required enlistment time for citizenship will be reduced, and your enlistment bonus increased. Mm. But you're welcome to try as many times as you like before returning to Commander Tuwala to proceed on to the next step in your application process. I think I know how I'm We'll only keep this. the highest score you manage to achieve in there. All right, then. I think I'm going to go in there Destroy four ships, exit, level that up, then go back in there. Mm-hmm. Well, you do have the one point. Yes, I do. That's what I meant by level it up. Sorry. She may be able to take the perk as soon as... while this still in the simulator. flight simulation chamber applicant. Currently in orbit around a high-detail recreation of a remote world. When you're ready to begin, please take a seat in the pilot's chair. Looking tools for the simulator? What? Well, at least this is a reasonable pilot area. Like, there's good visibility. Looking a little smug and your exam there. is simple. Mm -hmm. Defeat as many tiers of opponents as you can before your ship is disabled. You must defeat at least three tiers of opponents to pass the exam. Good hunting, applicant.
New targets active. Level 32. Do not do well fighting two things at once. I use my boost during combat more often than that. I hate it when I accidentally get into scanning mode. Sometimes it can be useful to learn things about the ember chip, but... Do you also know? the third down. Not much I can do about that right now. Not upgrade perks while I'm sitting down. Does not let me. Resuming the examination. New targets active. Oh, cool. Yeah. Thanks, game. I can't level up. Oh. Well, might as well keep going. Yes, I know. Level 44. Ships need better engines, given how hungry their um, cannons are. Mm -hmm. 46. Multiples. Four of them. And your shield is the uh, yeah, I'm going to be dead. I cannot take that very well. I'm gonna die from this one. At least try to defeat us. 
Oh, thanks. Except that none of my weapons are working, so it's kind of hard to do that. At least I have access to the simulator. Are you going to let me exit? Yeah, maybe if I was higher level I might be able to pull that off, but... Yeah, if you had all the perks my character has, it would be... Mm -hmm. There's only six tiers. I mean, it's doable. Like, I have all of the uh, engine systems perked. I mean, I didn't even have rank two, so. Mm -hmm. Congratulations, applicant. You've passed. Thanks. You can head up to Commander Tuwala to receive your final results and your probationary assignment. Or you're welcome to take another run at the simulation. I'm kind of tempted like to, to do that now that I've increased. We'll only keep your best run. Mm -hmm. Again, it keeps best, so you keep the good yeah. one if you do worth, worse. Mm -hmm. Also, I wonder if I can get up part of the way through the fight and go to the debug terminal. They did tell me I'm supposed to use everything available. This examination remains the same. Defeat as many tiers of opponents as you can before your ship is disabled. Defeat three tiers of opponents to complete the exam. Good hunting, applicant. Debug console. I don't see anything wrong with this. They told me to use any and all available options. I'm just being Captain Kirk, apparently. Yep. This is definitely a reference. Yes. That was a mistake.
start was on mistake. Infinite upgrades. Upgrades persist between tiers. <laughs> All upgrades will now persist between tiers. I don't need an ally at the moment. Shield upgrade active. <laughs> <laughs> Much better. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that does a little bit more damage. to check the console again. Nothing on there yet. This one's just a single powerful ship. I can deal with that. Like, I am fairly good at single ship combat, even if it's much stronger. It's multi ship combat that I have issues with. generating the ally now. Really wish that animation wasn't so slow. At the very least, the ally is an extra target. Yep. And that's what I actually need right now. Someone to draw fire. Yeah. Drawing fire, just not enough. Got one. Thanks. Is that on the other side of the display? I am heavily damaged at this point. Yes, I know. Rapids, yeah. The offline. No quarter given. You know what? Yes, I am aware, and I have no repairs left. I 
I also have no engines. Yep, I'm gonna die. Halting simulation. You that was down. fairly close. You may proceed to the exit hatch to log your results, or restart the exam from the simulation's control terminal. Ah, uh, so close. Yeah, but I think we shouldn't spend no, I'm, more time on this. I'm not going to. It wasn't a let's do this one more time thing. It was yeah. Okay, I think that's probably about as good as I'm going to get this time. But on the plus side, right? I can't check that in here. That's good to know. I'm not going to do that this time, but it's good to know that that's a thing. So I do have a continue. Good showing in there, applicant. Your results should be finalized by the time you get back to Commander Tuala. I think doing four of six is pretty good given how high level they are. Mm -hmm. Don't eat junk. Hello again, Commander. Well, look who's back. Everything go all right with the exam? Or did you have some questions you needed answered first? How long have you been with the Vanguard, Commander? Me? Six, seven years now? was a recon squad commander in a former life, so it wasn't too big a jump bossing around foreign pilots and staff. But Vanguard's been a quality assignment. Meet new people, judge them on a series of diverse criteria, get them out there helping people who need it. Why does the UC need foreign pilots anyway? The military used to have a pretty narrow view of where the best pilots came from. In their eyes, it was UC or bust. The creation of the Vanguard was an acknowledgement by the brass that maybe not all the galaxy's greatest pilots went through a UC flight school. So it's the Vanguard's job to find them and get them to fly for us. Ah, so these are your numbers that just came through then. You ready to hear how you did? Then let's get to them. So, looking at the data, checked out a few of the murals. Good. A test of preparation and thoroughness. Two traits the Vanguard values highly. Psychological results are all within expected levels. Navy doesn't have room for folks that'll fall apart the first time they're trying to outrun a homing missile. Oh, you found the debug system. <laughs> Nicely done. Curiosity and resourcefulness are skills our recruits need. Though, uh, this output. Wait. You hacked into the actual debug system? <laughs> huh. You really do know your way around machines, don't you? <laughs> Make sure that's noted. Though working around a system instead of in it isn't the way this test is supposed to but be. But I done. also completed now, the test. How'd you do against your foes? Tier 4. Not too shabby. The techs make us test each level of the sim, too. I can tell you that way were some real artificial bastards. Good job putting them away. Tier 4 was easier than Tier 3. So then, looking at your results as a whole, and factoring in that you managed to utilize all the tools at your Oops, disposal, do. once you've successfully completed your probationary mission, you could have your UC citizenship after years. only 10 years service. Pretty standard for combat assignments. But your performance in the simulator does mean I can offer a signing bonus. Help convince you to join the cause. So, sounds to me like we've got Vanguard material on our hands. If you're interested, we could bring you on as a provisional member today. Get you the credits you've earned, then send you out on your probationary mission. First, though, all UC service people, provisional or otherwise, are required to swear an oath. So, you want to make this official? Commit yourself to the cause of the colonies? <laughs> Can we do this under the table? <laughs> um, you know what? Sure. Fantastic. Then just follow me. I would follow you if you weren't moving at Bethesda speed. Like halfway between walk and crawl. Where are you going? 
just down there to do the ceremony, I guess. I guess. We would just do that in, in this office. Apparently not. Got to do it at night time. Wouldn't be right doing this where we couldn't see the stars. Now, raise your right hand. The motto of the Vanguard is Supra et Ultra, above and beyond. That is where we serve, beyond the furthest reaches of the United Colonies military, and with honor and duty above reproach. Do you swear to protect and defend the citizens of the United Colonies to the best of your abilities, and to uphold the values of the Vanguard, honor, loyalty, self-reliance, in all your actions as a member of the United Colonies Navy? All my actions? That seems a bit much. <laughs> then let me be the first to officially welcome you to the United Colonies Vanguard. Now, only thing left is getting you that probationary mission. Luckily, this is the best of God is comms repair. Group trying to refurb an old colony war processing plant on Tau City 2. Sounds like they've barely gotten set up when their communications died. Place is as isolated as they come. So Brass wants a vanguard to deliver the repair suite and ensure anyone present is safe and secure. So, can the people of Tau Seti 2 count on you? No major settlements on Tau Seti. No real active industry either. Doesn't make for a big target. It's got the potential to be a pretty quiet. Go away in hell. <laughs> the reason they wrote okay, that's fair. On the map edge. So if it were me, I'd hope for the best and arm for the worst. And if for some reason you do run into trouble, don't forget, it's your job to protect those who need it. So let's do this. That's the spirit. Head I've down to the there. spaceport and talk to crew chief. I'm pretty sure I've been there for He'll that matter. Repair suite plus your new recruit kit. Oh. And your advance. How much do I get? What yeah, penance? You're all out there. Supra et Ultra. 5,800 credits. That's actually not that bad given this character's level. Mm -hmm. Record. Of course. Okay. Taking the rest to the spaceport. Or Nat. Nat. I'm already in the mast district. I mean, I know I can just fast travel between these places, but it doesn't feel right. And it's raining? But only around me, because that's the way rain works in this game. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it would really strain the processor if it had to render the rain for all of the viewable distance. Why do I even try? So, who, who's your crew right now? Ah, that's our map. My crew consists of Sam okay. and Vasco. Yeah, and I think that's all we can fit. Yep. Anyway. I really need to buy a better ship. Yeah. We could just buy one. Keep your nose clean. Almost as though that's the direction I'm heading. Oh, it disappeared again. What? The... ship? My ship? Shock she managed to limp back here at all. Pull it for leeches, get it fixed up, and let her know we'll have it ready as soon as we can. Ah. You are new probationary then? Crew Chief Herak, pleasure to be working with you. 
It's my job to make sure all you rocket jockeys are ready for anything that comes at you up there. Now, Manifest says we're fitting you out with one comms repair suite. In addition to the standard issue welcome kit all probationary pilots get for their first mission. Med packs, some small arms, couple spare ship parts, all the essentials in case of okay. any surprises up there. My people will have everything on your ship before you lift off. Won't even know they were there. Hmm. So, paying a visit to the people of scenic Dow City. Oh, there's nobody there. <laughs> nice easy one for your first job. Just keep your head on swivel and you'll come home safe. Any questions before you head out? What exactly are you putting on my ship? Nothing too dangerous, if that's your concern. The repair suite's mostly just wiring and circuit boards. The welcome kit has some goodies in there I wouldn't leave sitting around when company comes to visit. But it's nothing some proper storage can't make safe. It's okay, I dumped a whole bunch of weapons inside of my ship, which I forgot to sell. Just realized. When there's a little kid that lives on my ship. This is perfectly fine. Yeah, she's not that little. I honestly didn't realize it had people living on it until we got your record. Report they gave us seemed clean. No known hostile outposts. But I wouldn't say. Just watch out for wildlife and fire. Then I won't keep you. Make us look good out there. I would uh, talk to the ship services technician. I mean the one that's already left? Nope. Yeah, well... <clears throat> Closer to <clears throat> the frontier. No, the, uh, the one by the kiosk. Yeah, that's what I was planning on doing. And either buy a new ship or upgrade the frontier. Yes. Really? I mean, you can afford a ship. You can afford yes, a ship. I can afford a ship. You can afford a house. Yes, I can. You should inspect your ship for heat leeches every couple landings. They'll cause plenty of havoc if left on. Need some work done? What do you have for sale? I'm sure you can find something you like. So. See, so we could buy the Rambler, which is not really that different from what I currently have. It's worse. Yeah. We could buy the Galileo, which is more expensive than I can afford. Oh, no, it isn't. This is... Eight credits more, less than what I can afford. Eight. Is that the same as a... Uh... Varun him? It looks yeah. very similar. The Varun ships are all reskinned other sh people's ships. Well, yeah. So, this would be an upgrade at least, although the cargo capacity is garbage and it would take almost every credit that I have. The Econo Hall would definitely hold a lot more cargo, but it's a sitting duck for firing. Having said that, it's still almost strictly better than my existing ship. The Sparrow is... better cargo than my existing ship, and it holds three crew, but... about it. And then the Shield Breaker, which is more money than I have, and Class B that I can't pilot. So I think we're just upgrading the Frontier. Okay, no problem. If you can get a better reactor on there, just use the upgrade function, not the, the builder. I don't like using the upgrade function. Because it seems to not like to work for me. So I can get a better reactor. Both of these are better. And I'm not increasing mass by that much. So let's assume a much better reactor. Um, what do I have options for weapons? Honestly, I think I would increase the shields. The Frontier has crap shields. Yeah, that's a fair point. Alright, so my current shields are Class A, 3 power, 310, and 10%. 
that's actually not really better. Yeah, you don't have to if you don't want to. I'm just mapping. Um, so 310 at 3 pips means that each pip is 100 and change. Like 103 shields per pip. This is a lot less than 103 shields per pip. So there might be some diminishing returns. Yeah. But you could just slap a second shield module on, can't you? No. Oh, you and that's right. Shields, you can't. Shield. You can only have one. You Weapons have... that you can have more than one. Yeah. You can only have one shield, one grav drive, one reactor. One landing bay, one docking port. So if I only put three pips of power into this, my shields will actually be going down instead of up. That's my concern. Well, I did just add four pips to my reactor, though. So I guess I can afford that? Although my jump range is dropping like a rock. Uh, Maybe I need to look at engines. As your grab drive, you mean? Yeah. Why can I not click on the arrow? Yeah, that's stupid. Well, that would increase it, barely. I won like you. Yes. Ugh. I wouldn't go for that. Like 8, 13, 52. Yeah, it's barely any better. I really just need to go to a different place because I don't think New Atlantis has the greatest options for these things. Anyway, we got a better reactor, so now we have more power to put into it. Yes. Thanks. Let's just go. Okay. I was thinking I might want to add cargo capacity, though. Although, where? Mm hmm. And also, I'm a little concerned about this. Mm hmm. Never mind. Oh, what's you my warning? Have a warning? Oh, yeah. Yeah, low mobility. Yeah. We'll go with that. Great authority kiosk from my ship because now it has everything moved over. Trade Kiosk never has anything in it. Okay. We will do that. That's right, Cora. No, I haven't. I just realized, because I modified it, I don't have the kit that came aboard. You mean it's been put into the cargo? Yes, which means that I don't get to physically see the kit. That's all. Mm. How you doing, sweet pea? Hey. See if I can load really fast. Uh, here would be far enough. I'm just gonna go run in to see what it looks like and then reload. We only have five minutes left anyway. Roughly. I wanna see it. You should inspect your ship for heat leeches every couple landings. I don't wanna. You need something? Does it just not physically appear? And it's just Did in... I just put it in the cargo hold? No. Unless if that's the weapon that they gave me. Which is possible, that is. Yeah, they did say a sidearm. Yeah, I have more ship parts and med back. So yeah, they just added it to my cargo hold. That's garbage. Boo. 
Ooh, I say boo. Less fun. I wanted a big box that I would have to unwrap. And that's the way they kind of pictured it, so you need to clean it up and make sure you don't have it lying around. Well, I'm okay. But I'd be a lot better if... <laughs> Let me guess, you'd be a lot better if you had a bigger book allowance. <laughs> you know me so well, Dad. So, what do you say? Your ship is way... Bye! I would give you a bigger book allowance if I was allowed to. Alright. We won't be able to do anything on that quest, most likely, but we can at least start heading out to it. Will you actually go to the correct system? Yes. So I have a problem whenever I choose the mission thing, it will frequently decide to point me at a different planet for no reason. Scan. Scanning for life forms. There are some life forms. Not trying to hit the moon. Benzene and alkanes. Of water on this world. Well, like I said, we can at least start it. There's two minutes left on the timer. And I take it you're not up for recording a third episode Touchdown today? Uh, I don't know. Probably not, but I'm sure. Mostly I need to stand up, because this is a really bad position for me to be in. You're actually putting a lot of pressure on my left shoulder, so... Well, it's not that relevant, because I have to put it in a weird angle anyway to reach. What I need is a taller back pillow. I don't know why I got up instead of leaving the ship, but... Sure. Galaxy's too big to be stuck in this. Oh right, nobody's following me right now. Vasco, you want to join? Captain, do you require my as I will accompany you? Save, quit. Uh, actually, I'm gonna go run back in and grab Sam. Save, quit. Okay. I'm working Let's hard, Captain. Well, I'll just get stuffy sometimes. Cora will be thrilled. Cora's right no there. Objections. Right, and this is apparently where I need to go. Gonna... Oh, there's dead people. Mm -hmm. I'm sure everything is fine. Save. Hope you've enjoyed this internet, and I'll talk to you next time. Bye. Bye.